Today I saw a video that ruined my day. I'm extremely angry right now and I wasn't planning on uploading. I've dropped like two videos in 24 hours and I wanna go outside, take some fresh air. But I noticed that the YouTuber Dumpy made a video about Fuzz99 and we talked about this guy a few days ago. And I was curious because it's been over a year since the last time we took a look at their TikTok and it's been a long time since I went on TikTok for content or TikTok overall. I don't have TikTok on my phone. And I think after they dropped their video, I think they're losing in their minds i think they're going crazy and they made a video two days ago <laughs> sorry <laughs> and they made a video two days ago this is one of those videos that made me question my existence and why i do what i do and at some point i'm like i should have just you know gone a nine to five <laughs> Jesus, like I'm not a bully. I don't think I am. You know what? You guys know that I'm into Naruto and Dragon Ball C and you know that kind of stuff. But it's people like this that make me embarrassed to say I like anime. You know what I mean? Like it gives anime a bad rep. This is stereotypical anime behavior. Being 27 years old and acting like this, a brother should be arrested. And on top of that, are we forgetting? <laughs> Are we forgetting that this was a substitute teacher? This person right here was teaching people in high school. How do you not expect to be fired for posting this type of content? It's like, do you think the students, high school students, will have any ounce of respect for you? Like, I know that if I was in high school and we had a substitute teacher and we find out this is your TikTok and you're talking to high school Oscar, high school sensitive side, oh my God, I would be canceled in two seconds. Yeah, you know what? I am not surprised you got fired for acting like this. You should have been fired just for being annoying. <laughs> You know what? I don't do drugs. I don't, you know, I don't smoke weed or anything. Um, I'm just not a fan of it personally. But it will be kind of fun to watch this video just high out of your mind. Just being like, yo, what the fuck am I into? <laughs> so I guess this confirms it. They used to be a woman, but they transitioned to a man. I honestly thought this person was just a lesbian. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. No hate towards anyone. I am the cringe police, okay? And I am here to enforce the law. And I already see some comments. Sensitive, you're just picking on her for no reason no it's not for no reason this is someone who's almost 30 years old who used to be a substitute teacher like come on now we gotta have standards like i would love to see this video on instagram reels <laughs> Like I could, I could imagine the comment section and even the comments are like why did it go on for so long <laughs> are you rewarded <laughs> Is it acoustic? I can't believe this is someone who can vote. That's actually kind of disturbing. Not everyone should have rights. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get political. So strap in gamers <laughs> from either political side. And like I said many times, I'll say it yet again, I am not into politics. I just don't care for it. <laughs> like, so I don't want to speak on something that I don't even know too much about, you know? But I don't know. Let's see where this video goes. Kind of scared. I was laughing a few minutes ago. <laughs> Then quote South Park word for word, like did they call you the F slur? I just thought of something. Just imagine the recording process. So I need to go to Party City to get me a beer. I don't care if it takes all day, I'm putting out this video. And this is going on for way too long. It says that this video is one minute with 26 seconds. And it honestly feels like this video has been going on for like an hour. <laughs> Why are you acting like a baby? You're 30 years old. <laughs> Sorry, this shit pisses me off. I wasn't gonna cut it off so soon, but I just couldn't hold back. I needed to get it off my chest. You know, I can't understand why people don't like you. You know, most people don't care that you're trans and I was reading the comments. Most people extremely dislike you because you're simply annoying. Okay, it's cringy. No one likes this. I can't imagine being like, yo, a new Fuss 99 video drop. Let's go. My day is much better now. <laughs> Yeah, 
think it's game over for me. This is one of the most obnoxious and punctual videos I have ever seen in my entire life. And no, I am not exaggerating. Like if I was 27 and I was making this video, like blah, 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 blah. And then he quoted South Park word for word. And then he was like, conspiracy theories, blah, 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 blah. The shame I would feel after recording that video would be extreme. Like, I'm talking, I would probably never show my face again. I would just go into hiding. Like what's the target audience, little kids? Because I am really struggling to think of anyone above the age of seven years old willingly clicking on one of their videos for enjoyment. I think the average age of a Fuzz 99 enjoyer has to be between two and four years old and I'm being pretty generous here. Once again, my question is who is a target audience no one above 14 is watching this unironically and you guys want to know what the funniest thing is is that he has three pinned videos and you guys will never guess in a million years what the next video is about it was never about protecting the kids it was never about protecting the kids I mean, that is one crazy jump, but I mean, going from yabby 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 those all the way to let's talk about this person that died, crazy thing to see. So first you get this obviously 1000% real story about, you know, some guy who went off. And the next one is like a very serious, sad story. It's like, just imagine if I made a video like, yo, my dog passed away. I'm extremely sad and um, I might need to take a break from online and from YouTubing. And uh, yeah, you know, if you guys could share and you know, that'd be great. And then my next video is me twerking or me acting a bit too silly. Okay, so I just refreshed their page and I just saw that they're live. All right, let's see what they're into. This was not part of the video. I was just going to end it. But I mean, let's see what their live content is like. I'm very uh, hyped. No, I don't have a TikTok. Leave me alone. Oh, what? Oh my God. I need to be locked in to watch a fucking TikTok. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm not going to make an account just for that. So, you know, what's absolutely crazy to me. There are people on this app who know me for jolly jolly haircut and not spooky spooky haircut. Like they don't know that spooky spooky haircut exists. I got a very serious question for you guys. If this was your substitute teacher, what do you take them seriously? Genuine question that, yeah, you need to be kind of respected in order to have the kids engage and the kids having respect for you. But if you're the fucking spooky, spooky haircut guy, do you think they're gonna take you seriously? Like, let's do an experiment right now. What do you guys take this person seriously? Let's make my facial hair darker! <gasps> So like almost two years ago, I made my little mustache hairs darker just to see what it would look like. But I didn't really have no baby shit hairs yet. All right, that's enough pain for you guys. I don't want you guys to suffer more than you guys need to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made my point clear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This might be the last video I make for a few days. I think I'm actually going a bit insane. And hell, maybe my next video is just me going, huh, 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 huh. And I'm like 25 years old. And I'm like, bro, come on. Now. But anyways, now if you excuse me, I gotta go get the spooky, spooky haircut.